All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 31. And uh, here, in this lesson, students are going to be solving two-step word problems. Now, fortunately, they're making it within 100. And the idea of this is, with word problems, um, in a traditional textbook, students kind of know, oh, word problems, we've been doing a bunch of addition. Every word problem is going to involve addition. What I love about this textbook, uh, Engage New York, is they make them two-step problems, and students um, have been solving with addition and subtraction. So students really need to understand the word problem and what it's asking for so that they can then decide whether they're supposed to add or subtract. And so what that means is that's going to make modeling very important in this lesson. It means the tape diagrams that students draw are really going to be instrumental in helping students understand if they're supposed to add or subtract or perhaps both. All right? And so I'm going to largely focus on how to draw the tape diagram and let you as the teacher or the parent uh, actually solve the problem once it's been modeled. Uh, now this is going to be the one exception. I'm going to not only model it, but I'm also going to solve it. And so let's get started with this. It says Melissa has had 56 pens and 37 more pencils than pens. All right. And then the question is how many pencils does Melissa have or did Melissa have? So the one thing I notice when I'm drawing tape diagrams, I notice that we have two topics. We have two characters in this story. One is pens. So I'm going to write down pens and one is pencils. All right, those are our two characters in this story and I'm going to draw two identical tapes. All right, if they don't look identical, they're supposed to be. All right, so then once I've started that, that's my setup. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again. It says Melissa had 56 pens. So that means we can label this 56 because we are told Melissa has 56 pens. Now here it says she has 37 more pencils than pens. So technically that means this bar needs to be longer than the pens. So I'm just going to add to it. I'm just going to add some arbitrary amount. It doesn't matter how much. But we know that that piece right there is 37, because it says 37 more pencils than pens. And then the question is, how many pencils did Melissa have? So ide ideally, that means we're looking for, or generally, it means we're going to draw the bar and add the question mark right there. So we're trying to figure out this entire length of the tape diagram. So when it looks like this, students are gradually going to recognize that, oh, this is probably an addition problem. How do they know that? Well, we know that we need to add this length plus this length to get the number of pencils. Well, what is this length right here? Well, it's 56 because, remember, when we started to set up the problem, we made both tape, tape diagrams the exact same length. So if this one's 56, that means this one's 56. It just got bigger by 37 as well. So now the question is, how many, pencil, uh, how many pencils does she have? So that means we're going to add 56 plus 37. And I'll let you solve that. <clears throat> and then the question, well, no, I'll solve that one. And let's do that so... 6 plus 7 is 13, and I'm going to bundle 10 of those together into the tens column. And then we have 5 tens plus 3 tens plus 1 ten, so that gives us 9 tens, so that's 90. So the answer is 93 pencils. So Melissa has 93 pencils. Pencils. And then the question is, how many pens and pencils does she have? So the tape diagram for that might look like this. Now there's no magic way to draw the proper tape diagram. So if you're doing it differently than I am, that's all right, as long as you're understanding the problem and as long as you're getting the right answer. 
So how many pens does Melissa have? And I did not bother to try and make these two things proportional. I just, I knew we were going to have two groups, so I just took a tape diagram and cut it. We know that Melissa has 56 pens because it said so way up at the top. And we now know that she has 93 pencils because it said so right here. And now we're supposed to find the total, which is this whole thing right here. So we're going to add 56 plus 93. And let's add. <clears throat> so 6 plus 3 is 9. And 5 tens plus 9 tens is 14 tens. So that's 149 total. Now one thing I want you to notice back here is when I drew the tape diagram, I wasn't worried about making it proportional. And I know I already said that, but here's proof that we still get the right answer. Because we know that Melissa has 56 pens, and she has 93 pencils. But look at my picture. My pens tape diagram is longer than the pencils tape diagram, and that's okay. Uh, that's the beauty of mathematics. It doesn't have to be um, exactly mimicking real life. It did not have to be proportional. And we still get the proper answer of 149. Alright, so for this problem, I'm just going to draw the tape di diagram. I'm going to let you, as the teacher or as the parent, solve the problem on your own. So it says Antonio gave 27 tomatoes to his neighbor and 15 to his brother, and he had 72 tomatoes before giving these away. All right, how many tomatoes does Antonio have left? All right, so the way I'm going to do this, I think I'm going to do this in a single tape diagram because we really only have one character, Antonio. Um, but we're told that he starts out with 72 at the beginning. So I'm going to label this entire tape diagram with a 72. And then we're told that he gives 27 tomatoes to his neighbor. So I'm going to write in neighbor. And then we're told that he gives 15 to his brother. I'm going to label that here, 15 to his brother. And then the question is, how many tomatoes does Antonio have left? So that's going to be this section right here. This is what he has left over. So what are we going to do to solve this problem? How are we going to figure out how many he has left over? So, <clears throat> teachers, your job is to guide students to map out a plan. And there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, one way is to add 27 and 15, and then subtract that from 72. That's one way to do it. Another idea is some students want to might do subtraction twice. They might take 72, subtract 27, and then subtract 15. Both of these solutions, these strategies, will work. And the idea is it all comes out of this tape diagram, and they can explain why their strategy will work based on this tape diagram. In this problem, we have a bakery, and the bakery made 92 muffins, <clears throat> 17 were blueberry, 23 were cranberry, and the rest were chocolate chip. How many chocolate chip muffins did the bakery make? So this is very similar to the previous problem. I'm going to draw a tape diagram, and 92 is our total. And we know that 17 were blueberry, so I'm just going to write blue. We know that 23 were cranberry, so I'm going to put cran. And then the rest were chocolate chips. So I'm going to put my question mark and a CC for chocolate chip. And so it's the exact same strategy. We can either add 17 and 23 and then subtract from 92. 
Or we could start with 92 and subtract out 17, and then subtract out 23. And the last problem for this video, uh, it says after spending $43 on groceries and $19 on a book, Mrs. Groom had $16 left. How much money did Mrs. Groom have to begin with? So this is asking us the total. So our tape diagram says after spending, let's see, $43 on groceries. So I'm going to say, okay, one way to draw this is here's my $43 on groceries and $19 on a book. She had $16 left over, so we could put groceries, book, and left over. The question is, how much money did she have left over? Or how much money did she have to begin with? So that's what the tape diagram would look like. And you're in, you'll notice I kind of did it differently. I started with just a little piece of a bar, and then I added on to it, and then I added on to it. Another way we could have drawn this, and I'll do it in blue, is we could have drawn the total first. It says, how much did Mrs. Groom have to begin with? So the total is our question mark. And then it says she spent $43 on groceries. Nineteen on a book, and she had sixteen left over. So that's another way. Same identical result. The, the model looks the same, but how I got there is different. And of course, this problem is just an addition problem. Students are going to have to figure out some way to add forty-three plus nineteen plus sixteen. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 31, using those tape diagrams to model word problems.